Hello everyone. How are you doing? How are you doing? You are most welcome in the name of Jesus. God bless you as you are tuning in. May God bless you abundantly in the name of Jesus. Please remove every problem from your mind. When you go to church or when you are about to hear the words of the Lord, you free your mind. Free your mind. Erase every negativity from your mind. Every doubt. Every worry from your mind. Okay? You are most welcome. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whenever you are watching this video, wherever you are watching from, may God bless you. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you have not and make sure the bell is turned on so that you will always get notification. I upload videos every day and go on live once in a week. And to all my subscribers, you know I love you. I always pray for all of you every day along with my regular viewers. May God bless you. So today, we are going to address a major issue that could also cause blockage to your prayers. At times, you tell me you have tried different spiritual remedy. You have read your Bible. You have prayed. You have fasted. You have laid altar seed. What have you not done? You have mopped or cleaned the church. You do charity. And yet, you have not gotten that thing you have been praying for. There is still a big blockage. Forgiveness. How many of you actually know how to forgive? How many of you actually know how to let go? How many of you actually remove grudges from your heart as you are watching this video search your heart there is somebody you are angry with there is somebody you don't like as a child of god this is very important you are praying to god to help you solve a particular problem why do you think you deserve the help of god tell me why do you ever think you deserve God's help? Are you not a sinner? Answer. Answer me. Are you not a sinner? Is it not written in the Bible that the prayer of a sinner is an abomination to God? Or you want to tell me now that you are not a sinner? Don't you lie? Even for business purposes? Don't you have bad thoughts? Do you always remember to pray before eating? Before drinking water? Before drinking water? Before sleeping? Immediately you wake up. Or is it that you don't know that before you drink even water, eat snacks, you are supposed to pray. You are supposed to to pray. If you don't do that, you have committed sin. Sin is not just maybe you cause or any other thing alone. If you fail to do what you are supposed to do, in the Bible, help others. Help others. Do you think you are helping people enough? No human being in this world can boldly stand up and tell me I don't commit sin. And you all know that sin itself is a blockage. Now, I know you will tell me you pray for forgiveness before you start praying. As I always tell you, always start with prayer of forgiveness. But remember, it is not compulsory that God must forgive you. For example, you offended me. It is my right 
to decide if I will forgive or not. You have to earn God's forgiveness. You have to earn God's forgiveness. And one major thing that you need to do to earn or to deserve the forgiveness of the Lord, number one, to forgive others. Number two, repentance. There are some people, they are not willing to repent. All they do, oh Lord, I'm sorry. Oh Lord, forgive me. Tomorrow, they go back to that thing. They come back again and apologize. They go back to that thing. They come back again to beg for forgiveness without being told, you know God is not listening to that. Without being told. Before you decide to apologize to God, be willing. Be willing. I know that it is not easy to abstain from sin, but you put in your own effort. Should we continue to sin for the grace of God to abide? No. You have to work on yourself gradually. As you are trying, if you make a mistake, you beg God for forgiveness. But then God will know that you are putting in effort to change. Because I see some people, they will tell you, hmm, after I do this, it's a matter of asking God for forgiveness. When you know that that thing is a sin, that thing you are about to do is wrong. Because you know that you are going to ask God for forgiveness. You go on and you do that thing. Are you not now playing with God? Are you not now making mockery of his mercy? I leave that question for you to answer. Secondly, you need to learn how to forgive. And this is very difficult. And that was why Jesus Christ gave us a major prayer that covers any other prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those. That means as you forgive those who sin against you. When anyone wrong you, you are supposed to forgive, not because of them, because you are helping yourself. Because if you stay angry at that person, if you refuse to forgive, God will not answer your prayers. Because you are a sinner too. You want God to forgive you. And yet, you are not willing to forgive. You want to receive what you cannot give? No. For example, you offend me and I refuse to forgive. And I offend somebody else. I'm begging that person. If that person is wise, that person will tell me, you go and forgive first. That thing you want to receive, give it first. So with God, God is willing to forgive you, but he has told you to forgive 77 times. And this is one way to receive your breakthrough. So if you are watching this video, maybe you have been praying for that thing for a long time. Maybe there is a problem that you have been trying to solve. You have done all you could, prayed, and yet that prayer is not answered. Nothing is working with all your effort, with all your prayers. Then search yourself. Are you holding grudges? Are you still angry with anyone? Have you been able to forgive those who truly offend you? It is very difficult, but you can achieve it. Ask yourself. So after this video, if you have not, then go and forgive first. Make peace first. Remove grudges from your heart first so that God can forgive you. If you receive the mercy of the Lord, Everything you want, you will get it. The mercy of the Lord can break every charm, can break every chain holding you, can destroy demonic attack, can remove every mountain, every problem from your life. The reason why the devil have the chance to mess you up, you see your enemies, they attack you, is because you don't have the mercy of the Lord. The Lord is not with you. If you have 
the mercy of the Lord, if the Lord is truly with you, that means you have light. And where there is light, darkness fades away. Light always consumes darkness. The devil can never come near you when God is with you. So if you want God to come into your life, learn to forgive. Start by forgiving all of those people. All of those people who have offended you. That thing that pained you a lot. Forgive. Remove that issue from your mind. Truly make peace with them for your own sake, not for their sake, to get your own breakthrough. This is the message. This is the message for today. Forgiveness brings breakthrough. You want God to forgive you, then forgive others. Try this method. Be at peace with people. Even if they are still angry with you, do your part. Forgive them. Remove grudges. Stop the malice. And see if good things will not flow in your life. And you will see massive transformation. Immediately you forgive. You will receive God's forgiveness. That is what I assure you. Immediately you forgive. And you are willing to change from your own sin, you will receive God's forgiveness and His blessing. That thing that you have been searching for, you will see that it is very close. Okay? Do this. Then you will understand that there is power, there is breakthrough in forgiveness. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe if you have not. Make sure the bell is turned on. So that you will always get notification. Give this video a thumbs up. Share with your friends. I will see you again.